So after an amazing first half of the series, the second half finally begins with episode four. Let's see how it went. So after how this third episode ended, there were a lot of stakes going in to the second half of the series. And I think this episode was pretty darn good in continuing the story where it left off in episode three. Now, there are a few nitpicks I do have. So we'll start with Stephen. How things ended with the third episode. I do wish the resolution at the start of episode four could have been longer. It was just, it happened at the end of the third and at the start of the episode, it just kind of reversed like really quick. So I thought that we were going to go a bit more with that, whatever happened at the end with the episode three, but they did not. So there's that nitpick I do have. Now, the best part of this episode was Steven and Layla's relationship. There was a lot of bonding there, a lot of good dialogue, a good chunk of humor without really like the humor overtaking the episode but there's some good stuff some really humorous but lovey-dovey if you want to go there there was that kind of stuff but it was done just the right amount it was not in too too much not really just you know came out of nowhere there was a little bit of build up from the previous episodes and it came along really really well in this one then there was the part of rating the top. Now that also where my other nitpick comes in. I do hope there is a bit more to it. It just felt the tomb rating was a bit too simple. Uh, as they've said before the series were released that they were taking a lot of hands from Indiana Jones. And I do wish there were some more puzzling aspects to the episode, some more adventure-like stuff in there when they were in there uh but then there's also another element that was done so well and that was more on the horror side i'm not gonna spoil it if you've yet to watch the episode and that was amazing there was a lot of tension in that long sequence and the way it was shown was also horrific and that was done i hope they bring that aspect of the uh, episode back in the other ones because I want to see more of that. And then, you know, there is this time where you're like, okay, this, there's some revelations going, nothing too, too major, but some things that you expected them to happen finally came through and they came through. And then the last 10 minutes of the episode happens. And those last 10 minutes, are some of the best Marvel stuff that I have seen so far. It was so brilliantly done that when the episode ends, you are left scratching your head. That's what I was doing. I was trying to understand what the hell just happened. What did I just see? Of course, there are elements to it that you might be guessing which way it's going, but it's really hard to tell because the way they've done it, it was something else. And it reminded me a bit of WandaVision in a very, very, very good way. And the way it ends was hilarious, yet just jaw dropping. <laughs> and then the episode ends. And it's one of those episodes, the classic Marvel show thing that they do, where it ends right where you need to see more. And it ends right there. And it's a cliffhanger. But it was done amazingly. This was a really good episode. And amazing even. With a few nitpicks that I personally had. But I think this series is so different from all the other ones minus WandaVision, because that was also another one that was just completely cuckoo and completely out of the, the blue and so different. This is another one, and it's done so, so well so far, and I cannot wait on where they take the story in the last three episodes with how things ended in this one. So, what's your take? What are your theories? Leave a comment below. 
let me know. And other than that, I want to say thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support. If you like these casual reviews, there are a whole lot of us on the channel. Please go have a watch. And yeah, take it easy, take care, and I'll catch you all soon. Until then, ta-da, take care.